Hey guys, it's Heather. We are doing Timu makeup. Like testing, reviewing, and playing. I mean, that, that's just what it is. It's just playing. Like, who am I trying to fool? I'm trying to make it sound like I'm all like, oh, we're testing, scientifically testing, and reviewing, and making notes. No, we're just gonna play with it. And then I'm just gonna give you my opinion, okay? That's what we're doing. So I'm ready to test some stuff out. I've got my makeup remover, my, my all-time favorite, you guys, I swear by this. Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I even have some makeup wipes. I think I'm shedding. My Sigma Switch, you know, for changing colors on my makeup brushes. So like, I'm ready to try, wipe off, try, wipe off, try. Dampened Beauty Blenders for trying different products. We've got tons of brushes, so I'm like ready to try some stuff. Anyway, let's get something on this face. This is kind of upsetting. Um, okay, so let me pull my hair back. Oh, and then the hair thing. So I had unboxed this in, um, when I did my Timu Beauty unboxing where I showed you guys all of this. So if you guys haven't watched my other video where I unboxed all of this stuff, make sure you go check that out. Whether you watch that first or you watch it after this, I don't think it really matters. But I do have a video where I unbox all of this stuff and I just show you everything. Um, so in today's video, we're just going to try some of these things and then I'm gonna break it up and do, I think we're gonna have to do two videos where I try this stuff. So one of the things that I did open was this hair curler. A couple of you guys have made a comment in letting me know because I, I don't know. I did not know and but now I know. Um, that before I had, when I unboxed it I was like oh, shoot like they're the same size like what the heck. Totally dropping it. Or you guys told me it's like left and right so like when you're curling it like it, it blows it like if you want to have your curl come this way or if you want to have your curl go that way so then you do left and right so then they're going in the same direction like i don't know why i didn't think of that and it even has like a little arrow at the top saying it spin it spins that way and this one says it spins that way so um thanks guys <laughs> like i said i didn't ha i don't have one i don't know so i'm gonna do a separate video with this because i'm gonna do a hair video where we can test that, I can put my extensions in, play with some other hair products. So I'm gonna do that at that video. Constructive criticism is always welcome. If you guys like bring it on, just be nice, okay? Don't be mean. I got, it's supposed to be this five second wrinkle remover. It's an instant wrinkle remover. Now I have heard years ago <laughs> that basically it's hemorrhoid cream. I have no idea if that's true or not. But I had heard that and I'm like, you know what? It totally makes sense. But they had these commercials where it's somebody, you know, some people really struggle with like bags under their eyes. And they would put this stuff on there and it would literally just like shrink it right up. So you use that, but it's just temporary. But I wanted to try it because I, I thought, would it shrink this? I'm wondering, would it tighten it up? Okay, we're gonna put it on the chin. No, I didn't have to pull my hair back to put this on my chin, but I'm just going to have to pull it back anyway. It says five seconds remove wrinkle. <laughs> and it says that on the other side. It feels like just a nice lotion. It doesn't smell like super fragrant. It smells like something, you know what I mean? Like a lotion. So we're just going to let that sit a minute. I'm going to wipe this off my hands. I mean, I really don't feel like it's doing anything. I don't feel like it looks like it's doing anything. In all fairness, it's not for that. It's for your eyes. Maybe I'll try it like on the sides and just put it like right here. Let's try it. I really don't feel like it's doing anything. Okay, and then just applying it here and there. I feel like this literally does nothing. But this is claiming that it firms you in five seconds. I don't feel extra firm. I put some here, here, here. It comes with no instructions. There's no fine print. It just says 2.5% active retinol, instant wrinkle remover, instant firmly. 
five seconds removes wrinkles. It does nothing. It's just, it's cream in a bottle. Um, so one thing I want to try before we get into like complexion products um, are these two eyebrow products that we have here. We all know that I'm like eyebrow challenged. I'm a victim of the 90s of the overplucking. I overplucked. Everyone has big, beautiful, bushy eyebrows and um, I'm stuck here with these little right two brow products one is this um the brow glue my camera's not letting me um, move anything real close for some reason um but anyway i picked up this nyx dupe so i have the original um nyx brow glue so i figure let's try it on this side with the the timu one and then we'll try it on this side with the nyx looking at them in the bottle it does seem like the nyx one a little more cloudy where this one it's a little more clear it's a little more thinner this is just a hair thicker the nyx one is a little thicker this seems like a gel the timu one and the nyx one does seem more of like a glue but let's we'll, we'll try it out it's not doing anything it just it's like it's it's just wetting my eyebrows that's all that it's doing but let's see, maybe like as it dries and gets tacky, maybe then I'll be able to push them up because right now I'm just pushing them up and they're coming right back down. We'll let that sit just a few seconds and then I'll come back. Let's try the NYX over here. Much better. Oh wow, you guys, that's like night and day. So this one over here, it feels a little tacky. So let's see if I can brush them up now. No, I cannot brush them up. Don't get this. That's, you know, like that's my opinion. This just feels like you're you're wetting them. The NYX is not crazy price. It's not like we're talking about like a $32 tube of uh, brow glue. Um, if you're like an Amazon shopper, I can see if they have it on Amazon and I can link it below for you. And then the, the cream that we had put on to see if it would do anything. I'm also going to wipe that off because I feel greasy. I've had it on now for about 15 minutes and um, it just, it feels like there's grease on my, my face. So I'm going to wipe that off as well. So I thought I would try this. I mean, instantly I, I'm not real hot on their, their stencils they have. So I'm just going to find one that I think might be good. So it's the eyebrow powder. So it looks like it's got powder inside the cap and then you got your little sponge there. Try and do the best we can here. These are really big. Suppose we can always wipe it off if we mess up, right? Obviously it's the wrong color. It doesn't look very natural. Just, it's a little off, but I wanna say that it's probably just the wrong color. You know, like color matters, obviously. So that's the wrong color for Heather. <laughs> Let me spray that with like a setting spray to see if it will, uh, if it'll stay. I, I picked up a setting spray, but I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use like one that I know is like really good. I've, I have several that I like. You guys ever like look into a magnifying mirror and then all of a sudden you're like noticing all your little tiny imperfections where you literally looked fine before you found your magnifying mirror and now you found like a tiny little blackhead or like a little hair over here or then you start picking at your face and then now your face looks ridiculous. It's a slippery slope that magnifying mirror. I'm not gonna wipe, I'm just gonna like just touch it. It stayed on. Yeah, if you wipe, you're going to remove it. I'd say that that's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. I've got a couple of different primers. They knocked off the e.l.f. So it's just like the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, like identical. And then they have the other one that's got the niacinamide in it. Again, I don't feel like it's necessary to like dupe something that's already like affordable. I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna go with the green one and I'm gonna put the green one on one side and then I'll do the elf one on this side to see how they compare. The Timu one doesn't um, have much of a, a scent. It's very, very stringy, the Timu one. So then with the elf, no scent, 
seems very similar. Just give your primers just a couple of minutes just to kind of set and do what it needs to do. I don't know. I feel like scientists right now. I normally put a lip moisturizer on, so I think I'm going to do that really quick. Well, actually, you know what? There is a lip. Oh, here's a lip balm. So I forgot. I do have one from Timu. It's a plump lip balm. I hope it's not tinted. Let me see. Oh, very little. I really don't want that, but we'll try it just to see if it actually does plump. It feels like it was starting, like like when you first put your plumper on, like it just starts. Like you can feel that first little ding, ding, but then nothing's happening. All right, so while we're late waiting for the plumper to plump, I know. So that's sticky. They feel the same. So I would say that's a win, as long as it doesn't get like weird on us. So that's the Timu one. I'll put my elf one back over here. You did good. You did good, elf. You didn't do anything wrong. You're good. It's all right. Okay, I wouldn't say there's a winner or a loser, but I would say that this is just as good as the elf one. And then we have a pore filling one and then the niacinamide one. We'll do the, we'll use these on our next one. When we do more, we'll do it on the next one. We'll save that. I have so many um, foundations. There's one that I'm really excited about. Well, if you guys want to see all of the foundations that I have, go check out my other video where I unbox all of this and then you can see everything. I'm really excited to try this one because one of my favorite foundations is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Um, that's the Milani. That's what I use like all the time. Love this stuff. But when I saw this, I'm like, oh, you are not knocking off my Milani. So let's test it. So that's the Timu one. I don't think I got the right color. It's pretty close, but at least we can try the formula. Right, this is my Milani and this is the Timu one. So color wise, I think we're pretty close. I'm just gonna put this on my face. The other foundations we're gonna test out on a different video. Um, I'm really excited about this Milani one, the Milani dupe. So we're gonna go with this one. Let me grab a sponge. So far it seems okay. It does have like a weird smell. Well, I do like my um, Milani better. It's not sitting right. It does have nice coverage. I would say it's a nice medium coverage. I really don't like how it looks on my skin. It's not awful, I've seen worse. I'm trying to like blend it in certain areas and it, it's not blending very well. I do wanna see if it's buildable, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now, could it be the primer that it just doesn't like the primer that I'm using? Um, could be. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm, d I'm not a fan of this. I just, it doesn't sit well on my skin. It's kind of, it's like blotchy. It doesn't blend really nice. It doesn't look like it's, you know, like a nice skin. Let's try a different foundation. I'm going to try another one because we have so many. I'm going to wipe this off and then we're going to try something else. I'll be right back. Now, does it, does it really mean that that foundation is a bad foundation? No, it doesn't. It just means like my, it didn't like my skin or it just didn't like the primer that I, I paired it with. Oh my God, there's wind is blowing so much stuff in the air. Like my sinuses are like going in and out. Like we're like, no, we're fine. No, we're not. We're fine. No, we're not. And then my sinuses are like, no, I think we're going to be good. No, we're not. So sorry if I'm like constantly just like fall allergies guys okay all right here we go let's blur it you guys aren't gonna be able to tell but I'll tell you okay I'll tell you if it if it blurs it let's just fill it in like spackle I really don't feel like it did anything it feels really nice on the skin it, I would hate I hate saying too many negative things about these products but um, honestly I don't feel like this did anything no I, I would have to say that that doesn't do anything. Um, let's just grab one of these foundations and we're gonna we're just gonna throw it on. And we're just gonna throw that on. It comes with a little blender. It was like a little kit. 
So um, we're just gonna try that. We're gonna put it on, we're just gonna leave it on, and we're just gonna go with it. And we're gonna move forward to our concealers and our setting powders and our blushes and things like that. I'm gonna use one of my primers that I know. This It's a good primer. It really never lets me down. This is the Tatcha. I think we're gonna cheat. It fills the pores, and then as it sets, it feels like satiny. I've always been really happy with it. So we're just gonna use that one. I'm gonna give this a minute just to set. Let's just hope this one doesn't look too crazy. Ooh. My finger's cramping up. <laughs> My finger is literally cramping up. Like, I might have to switch fingers here. Alright, so I'm thinking it's broken. It's attached, but I don't understand why it won't come out. Like the little like the little straw in there is attached. Oh, it does have a little curve in it. I wonder if it's just like damaged. So we're just gonna do like one of these things. This seems like a light coverage, like it's just kind of dissipating into nothing. So far, kind of looking good. It's blending nice. It does seem like it's more of like a um, like a light to medium coverage, which you know sometimes I just want like light coverage. I don't want like super full coverage. It does seem very shiny, so I'm wondering if we've kind of got it. This is like a glowy one. It blended out very very nicely. It just went into some like a second skin, um, but it does feel oily. But um, when I wanna dive in over here, this is some um, under eye concealer. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. They're knocking off It Cosmetics. So, cause that looks, looks just like it. <laughs> well, I really feel like oily. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hourglass um, it's a concealer brush, so we're just gonna go under the eye See how well this plays with my skin. It says full coverage, but um, no, I'm not I'm not seeing that I'm gonna add a little bit more hmm. I, I would not that is definitely not a full coverage I do like to put my concealer here here and then down my nose and right here in the center So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I would normally do with my um, concealer Blends out really nice, but the we're missing the coverage. Definitely not what it says, where it says full coverage. So, um, we're gonna, that's, no it's not. It's not full coverage. And, may, well, you know what, let's be fair. Maybe it's just because it's not playing well with the foundation that I have on. So let, let's, let's hit some on the back of my hand here real quick. That is not a full coverage concealer. It, it's such a light coverage. Them saying that it's a full coverage is so far from the truth. It does blend nice, but I'm telling you, it's the lightest coverage concealer that I've had in a long time. Which that's fine. I mean, sometimes we just want a light coverage concealer. I've got several like for contouring. We have several. We have this big old block. Like I'm excited. I'm hoping that's blendable. Um, then we have that one. It's uh, Carla's got a secret. It says Carla's secret on it. I don't know what her secret is, but I feel like we're gonna get to the bottom of it. So we have lots of different um, products. What should we go with? I feel like we could do a, oh, you know what though? This is also a concealer, under eye concealer. Some of these caps do not stay on very well. I'm gonna try this, the Mafic. Just gonna sit, let me clean my brush off with my little um, Sigma switch. I friggin' love this thing. It's like one of the my favorite recent purchases. I got it on Amazon, so I'll link that below if you guys are interested. I'm gonna grab this light one and then just a touch of the next one over. I'm gonna test it on the back of my hand here. That's got some good coverage. 
go under the eye just to see if we can get a little bit more coverage we can get that like little flawless look my eyelids keep creasing like crazy okay there I think we kind of got our little lightness that I'm looking for that I like and that funny all the faces we make when we put our makeup on okay so this is a this is a nice one it's a nice potted one I like that but let's do some contouring oh wait I gotta put something on my eyebrows I'm just gonna put a pencil on real quick very quick just kind of put something on there super fast right because we're um we have been doing this for far too long i could literally like sit here and play with makeup all day with you guys okay what do we use what are we gonna use because we also have this one we got that do we do carla's secret to see how well she blends yeah let me use this elf putty bronzer brush i'm gonna grab you know, and when you have palettes like this, like mix them up. Like if you're like, oh, I don't know, like I'm kind of thinking maybe this one with a little of that one. Like just kind of mix them up. Test it out on the back of your hand to see how it looks. And uh, that's not it. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> just play with it. You know, it's just makeup. You're not putting a tattoo on your face. And really like, the back of your hand can be your best friend when you're putting makeup on. Just test it out on your skin. Like, just check it out right there. Putting on a liquid blush, put it on your the back of your hand and then blend it out before you put it on your face. You're not going in heavy handed and then having, like, freaking out and you have to fix it. Maybe let's, let's kind of, let's, let's shift a little bit. I also have these for contouring. These ones are... A struggle. I could see these ones being a really big problem. The packaging on them is just awful. Um, the, the caps come off super easy. I don't like that I have like my blotchy pink coming through with that foundation that we did. I, this is such an... This almost seems like it's like a tint. It's so light. Okay, so what contour are we going to use? I think we just got to like... We're just going to jump into it with this dark one. We're just going in. And we're gonna blend it and we're just gonna hope for the best because guess what it's makeup we don't like it we'll um we'll wash it off right guys i really don't want to wash anything off now that we've gotten to this point so if this shade is not right oh well we're just trying the formula at this point okay so we're just gonna put a little dollop on there blend it out with our damp blender it is blending nice and then my my contour i like to stick with the top of my ear and just kind of follow it down, but don't go too far down. And then the most important part of contouring for me is hitting under here. I like to stick real close to the jawline and then stay right up there, blend it out, and then feather it down. See how jaw contour is like so important versus over here? Especially if you've got like some, you know, you need to kind of carve out kind of shadow what's going on under there. Um, this is blending okay. Um, it's a little patchy. My all-time favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury one. The Hollywood Contour Wand, I'm telling you. This, it's nice. All right, let's set. We need to ready set. One of my favorite um, under eye, when I like to set my under eyes is the Givenchy. That four different colors. And then it all comes into one, so then they have theirs. Okay, let's try this to see how well it sets. They do give you a little puff that comes with it. Looking at theirs versus the uh, Givenchy, when they come together, they kind of give off like a green yellow look versus the Givenchy has got a nice light pink to it when all four colors come together and mix. You see the difference? So I'm not gonna use the Givenchy. I just wanted to show you guys. We're just gonna stick with the dupe that Timu has to see how well that looks. I do just a little bit of powder and then I set real lightly with my brush everywhere I put concealer. So I go back over, make sure nothing's creased. So if anything is just kind of sitting in the lines, just kind of smooth it out. Very little bit of on here. And I just do a light set. A little more. 
kind of smooth anything out. It is a very, this foundation is crazy. It, it's just, it's very oily. I really wouldn't, I don't know. It's not my favorite. All right, guys, let's break up the party and the wrinkle here. Oh, look at that crease. Holy smackinoli, that really creased up. You guys, this stuff is like super oily. So you're, if you're oily, oof, stay far away from that foundation. So hopefully after setting it, that, that'll be enough where it shouldn't crease anymore. Oh my God. You guys see that friggin' line where it just, I've never had such a big crease. It's no big deal, just kind of smooth it back out. Everywhere we have concealer has been like lightly set. So then what I like to do is then I go in and I like to kind of bake, but with a puffer. I think we're just gonna stick with this, the Givenchy dupe that they have. Put it heavy where I have my problem areas. Just the center of my forehead, like right here. I'm already not liking my nose. My nose already is starting to resemble what it looks like at the end of the day when we've had like a long day of wearing makeup. We do have some liquid blushes, which I usually like to do those before my powder. We have so many liquid blushes. It's like crazy. It's like crazy. So we've got all these liquid blushes. I don't really even think I need a blush today because the foundation, I'm so pink that my foundation really didn't cover my pinkness. So I think we're gonna be okay. What I usually do after I've let it bake for a few minutes. So I just take a big poofer brush and just kind of use that and just kind of push it around, flick off extra, but then setting the rest of my face. Just kind of pushing around, not picking up extra powder. I like to have that a satin powdery finish. I don't like to feel any tackiness. I just, I don't like that feeling. So I always set my cream products. If I've lost any definition because of the powder, I'll just come back through with like a powder contour just to kind of waken it back up, which I feel like we've just, we've lost the cheek contour completely, almost. Okay. Oh wait, I do have a little powder contour here. So we're gonna dip into this color just a little bit, just to kind of wake it back up. Just get a little bit, tap it out. Like I can be real blotchy like right here. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but I am red and blotchy like right there and the foundation didn't cover that up at all. I don't know. In this contour palette that I just showed you, that one highlighter, we got this highlighter or you could use this highlighter, but we're gonna go with this medium one. Let me hit the back of my hand with it. It's kinda nice. Actually feels nice in the, in the pan. That might work, but it's not going on. If you guys could get a close up of my skin, it looks awful. I am so blotchy and so, my under eyes are super wrinkly. It's blotchy. It's actually making my skin look real crepey. Unhealthy, I guess you could say, I don't know. But, so that's complexion, okay? So we've spent a lot of time on our complexion. Um, this highlighter here, I have to dig into it really hard and then to get it to show up on my skin. It's not wanting to show up on my skin and then I've tried to get it on my face. It won't go on my face. So I'm not sure what's up with that because it, it felt decent. It felt kind of nice, but it's inconsistent with its texture. It'll leave some here and not some there. And it's just, it's kind of awful. So let's try the Huda Story. If you guys remember that when I did my unboxing, that's this thing. It's all glittery, shimmery. Really hope this is good. I think we're gonna try putting it on with a brush. Uh, we're gonna grab this color right here. Very glittery, but I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious. And I think it's, oh, the whole thing just fell right out. <laughs> the whole thing just fell right out, guys. You could honestly just throw some glue on there and just pop it right back in. We'll be all right. Oh, I think I put it in upside down. So we're back down here. I put it in up, upside down. So I think the color we were using was up here, but now it's down here. That's my fault. So I don't know, you're going out, you're going clubbing. You got, you know, you're showing off the girls or something. You got a little tube top on. You wanna hit those collarbones, maybe your shoulders. 
I don't know if it's just not playing well with the stuff that we have on before, but very chunky, but it blends better with a finger. What eyeshadow palette should we use? So we have this one that is all mattes. Three single ones. They duped the Urban Decay. You know, looks just like Urban Decay. Where's Space Cowboy? I think I have that. Okay, that's the Urban Decay Moon Dust in the color Space Cowboy. So I would say that this one, number three, would be the one that's like closest to it. This one here is Urban Decay. This is the dupe. This is the dupe and this is Space Cowboy. I don't know if, how well you can see it, but Space Cowboy has got like a unique, super fine glitter to it. Um, so putting it under colors, on top of colors, it adds a really nice um, to your look, right? Um, this one just comes off as like shimmer eyeshadow slash highlight. There's... So what I'm noticing here, um, I really didn't notice it until I was editing the, the unboxing video, is there's a lot of duplicate colors. Like these two are the same. These two are the same. Actually, these, these two colors are the same. These two are the same. These two colors here are the same. But hey, if you end up liking the color, you got another one. So it's a win-win. You got a backup. You have a backup in your palette. I'm so glad I don't have to go anywhere. I look awful. <laughs> I think we're going to do a combination of this and this. Let me get my, my favorites out here. Ooh, you know what though? Let's try these. I wanna try these. And they're, you blend them out. Maybe we should try that. Let's do that. Number two in the Revere Diary. Gosh, I don't know what's with my camera. It will not focus. All right, we're gonna bring it up. I'm gonna put dark on the bottom and the light on the top. Oh yeah, and then even after we've set it, we're still creasing under there and it looks, it almost looks like I have a skin condition. I wonder, can I get a picture of that? But anyway, okay, that's not working. All right, all that it's doing, <laughs> it won't, there's nothing there. It might be that the foundation is just so bad. Let me try it on the back of my hand. And I really don't wanna say like bad things about this if it's just because of the foundation and I want to say that it's because of the foundation and the powder like the complexion products are just not our friend today so putting this cream product on top of something my makeup should be set so just rubbing my finger on it just lightly shouldn't be moving product around and it is it seems like the powder and the concealer slash foundation has kind of morphed into each other and has created a separate beast <laughs> or a separate entity that powder didn't set it down like it's it will still move around on you it just it's a different consistency now I feel like whatever we put on top, it's not gonna look well. So I'm not sure, maybe we'll save these ones for when we do our next Timu playing with makeup, but on the back of my hand, it does seem like it is nice. It went on very nicely. Let's see if we can use like one of these. It's the Sweet Mint, they're eyeshadow crayons. So this color I'm using, um, it doesn't tell you the color. I can't read what it says because it's in a different language. But let's just see how well, no it doesn't. It's going on a little bit, but um, like I said, what we've got going on on the skin right now is not our friend. Like I said, I don't want to make it seem like I'm bashing every product, but I just feel like that foundation concealer slash powder was so bad. But then it's even hard to say, like maybe the powder isn't bad. Maybe that foundation was just basically just oil we put on our face. So then everything else we've been putting on top of it has just failed. So maybe 
our next video, I'm just going to use my foundation that I like. We'll reuse this powder. We'll do it again, but I just I want to say that that foundation was just so bad. Putting it on, it looks really nice. It's right here. Fuse it out and blend it. It actually looks really, really pretty. Oh, I got this like silver one. And then like just diffusing that out. Really pretty. <sighs> this is not going well. These are like liquid shadows. I'm gonna take my brush, just grab a little bit on the ends and then just go under my eye just a little. Just a little bit. Very little, just right there. Like I'm not going all the way. We're gonna do a little bit of like a liner. This liner that I had picked up, I got a black and I got a brown. I think I'm gonna return these. This, the brown one is already broken. They're very odd anyway. Um, so actually these ones I am gonna return. Um, I got my returns up here. Stay right there. Uh, so what we're gonna do for liner, I think I will dip into, I think I'm gonna hit this Lucky You I'm gonna grab this dark one up in the corner. You guys, I'm really bummed on how this is going. Like, it's kind of bumming me out because I really want to give you guys my honest opinion, but I feel like I'm giving a negative review on too many things because this foundation was just so oily. And I'm kicking myself that I just didn't wipe it off. But it did seem at first like it was blending out just so nice. And oh, it's just like this light coverage. But it was just way too oily. So I'm just going to use that as my liner. Hopefully it'll pick some up. Especially spraying the brush. And then going in and trying to pick up some product. It's really not picking up anything. These are not pigmented. But I am able to get a little bit up. But you really do got to work at it. I, I noticed that before. I kind of know that with Timu eyeshadows. You're not going to get something that's highly pigmented. At least that's been my experience with it. And I've never had to work this hard just to get a little bit. Like, this is this is crazy. Like, that's pretty dark up there. So I'm just gonna put a little line like right here. And you can't really tell. And I'm like digging in. Spraying your um, should makes it more pigmented, okay? <laughs> and I'm not getting it up. I can't get anything really having to go in like three or four times. And even then, I really don't have the, the darkness that I'm looking for. Actually, the color that's in the pan, I can't get on my eye, but. All right, let's try a different palette. I can't get anything off of there. I'm gonna grab this one and see and grab the dark color in the corner there. That worked a little bit better. I can get some more color, but even then it's, it's very blotchy. So you might be able to get darkness there, but then it gets light and then it gets dark. Well, this isn't going well. I almost wanna like just toss the whole video out. That's where I'm at right now. But I don't want this whole day to be a waste. So just wanna to apologize to you guys. Like this video is not what I was hoping it was going to be. Um, it's actually really frustrating right now. I'm really bummed that I have been filming literally for three hours. I mean, I edit a lot of it out. It's a little frustrating. So what I think we're just going to jump to, just go right to this mascara. I do have one mascara. Um, it's by She Does. It's the Colossal Big Eyes Volume Expression. This is a knockoff of the Maybelline. So let me curl my lashes. I never used to curl my lashes, like ever, ever. But then I saw, who was that? Somebody did like an Instagram video where they were like, showed a video of what curling your lashes does with and without. <sighs> Sorry, I had to stop filming for a minute. My daughter was leaving. Okay, so here's the thing. So I stopped recording for a second, went and go like help my daughter load her car, okay? So I, I said, I asked her, I said, what do you think? 
And she's like, what? I'm like, my makeup. I'm trying new makeup. What do you think? But she's like, um, you look wrinkly and dry. I'm wondering, like, this isn't a bad product. I'm thinking this mixed with this is a bad product. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking this is like a no-no, but everything else might be okay. You know what I mean? Like this might be an okay powder. It's not very finely milled. Like it, it's, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so I'm done complaining. E okay, so either way, right before I ended up turning my camera off, I was talking about curling lashes. Just curl your lashes beforehand. If you guys don't, just try it. Or do one curled and one without, like maybe if you're not going anywhere. Because my lashes, they just come like straight out. I think the majority of people's lashes just grow straight out. So if you add that curl, it just kind of helps them go where they need to go. Whatever. I'm a little crabby, you guys. I'm like so crabby. I'm so bummed that this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be for you guys. That's why I'm not a Timu affiliate. Like, I really want to be able to give my honest review. And um, so we're definitely going to have to do a second video and probably a third. But anyway, mascara. It smells like nothing. Mascara always smells like mascara. Don't ever like pump your mascara. Like don't friggin' do that. Like you see people that go tit, 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 tit. don't do that. You're just shoving a bunch of air down into your, your mascara and you're gonna dry it out. Bend it a little and then twist it. So it's like scraping the sides. So you're getting it all over and then pull it out. So I'm gonna do it how I normally do it. I got my clean disposable wand. I'm gonna do one coat. So far, so good. Okay. Ooh, I have butter fingers today. I have mascara all over everything. And then I go through with my disposable wand. This is just how I do mascara. With the same disposable wand. Back over here, coat number two. Then it just starts to get a little more fuller, a little longer. Same wand. Oh, and if you guys, I got like mascara on my shirt. If you guys ever get like a makeup stain on your shirt, you wanna know how to get it out? I know how to get it out. You would kind of think like a Dawn dish soap because um, it's like a degreaser and like a lot of our foundations do have oils in them. So, um, but I have found sometimes that doesn't always work. Um, but what does, Cinema Secrets. Like you don't, this isn't for your eyes. This is for cleaning your makeup brushes. And it does such an amazing job at cleaning your makeup brushes. I thought once, I was like, well, would that work on my shirt? Because we all have that shirt that has got, or pants. Because, you know, I sit here, sometimes I, a drop will fall into my lap. Or if you get it in your carpet rug or your chair, put that like a cotton ball on there and just keep doing like, throw the cotton ball away, get it wet again, just kind of keep going over that area. And I'm telling you, it'll come right out. It comes right out. You're welcome, Heather Knowledge. Okay, so this isn't very volumizing. I've done three coats. Now I've noticed this before because I have purchased um, mascara from Timu before. The mascara is okay, but it seems watered down. That, that's just my, that's what I get from it, is that it's a very, all of their mascaras, I think I've tried like four or five different mascaras, so I don't know if all of them, I mean, that's kind of a big statement there, Heather. Not all of them, but I have tried multiple mascaras and they all, they all go on nice. None of them really give you that volume. I don't even really feel like they give, do anything really for length, and I really don't think they do anything for volume. It's just watered down. So I quit going through with my disposable. I have now done two more layers on top of my three thin layers. And they're just, they're very thin, but they're covered. You know what I mean? Like, but you're not really gonna get anything big out of that. You guys would be surprised on how many people come for me because I said something negative about Timu. I'm just giving my opinion. I only reach a couple thousand people. Chill out. Let's hit it with the setting the setting spray. I believe this is a Maybelline Fit Me dupe. So it says my color fit me, M-I, and then color fit me, matte finish spray. If anything, I feel like I need a dewy spray because my daughter told me I look super dry and wrinkly. I do, I look extra wrinkly. 
a little perfumey. Ooh, that comes out like a squirt gun. Holy, you can really gotta hold it back. Um, I've had finer mists, but you really have to hold it out. I've never had to hold one out so far because it comes out so strong. Um, it'll literally like blow your makeup right off your face. So hold that really far out. Problem easily solved. We're gonna do lashes. I went through all my lashes, you guys. I bought so many lashes. Those are all my lashes I picked up from Timu. For the most part, Timu lashes are decent. I pick these out. These seem like the best ones out of, well, there are several of them that I bought that I do like. Really happy with how these look. Um, I really recommend getting some lashes from Timu, um, but it's a little tricky, like I said, with um, some of them are a lot nicer than others. And you don't know until you get it. That's the thing. I cannot, you guys, I really, I cannot stress enough how awesome you guys are. And I feel like, how did I get lucky enough to have such an amazing YouTube community? I was ready for bring on the hate, bring on those hate comments because I see other people getting them and I, I get them too, like occasionally they do. 99% of my comments are so nice and so supportive and amazing. And I'm like, how am I so lucky to get that? You know what I mean? And if anything, you guys want to hear something kind of interesting, like maybe I'm chit-chatting too much, but majority of my hate comments that I get, which like I said, are, is not very many. Um, but when I do get them, a majority of them come through when I do beauty content. Isn't that interesting? When I do unboxings or if I do like a closet organizing, I want to say like I can only think of one that was kind of mean. It was so mean I deleted it, but whatever. But when I do beauty content, whether I'm doing my organizing videos when I like organize all my, my drawers back here and stuff or like a get ready with me, that's when the claws come out and that's when the mean comments come. Why? Why is it just the beauty content that gets hate? What is that? Isn't that kind of weird? Like why? Why are you gonna, you gonna be mean? Don't be mean. I'm not mean. But I, whatever, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking too much, sorry. I'll shut up. All right, so we got our half lash. We're just gonna plop it right on. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stick it right on. We're just gonna go like that. And go like that. And go boop. And just stick it on there like that. I actually like these half lashes so much. I'm gonna go and order like 10 more. And now that's the tricky thing is that I have bought so many. I have to go through my order and try and figure out which one it is that I can go and then order 10 more of them. Let's stick it on there. All right, lips. So we tried that plumper, didn't really care for it. This is that the NYX fat. What is it, fat? The fat oil, like they duped the fat oil, the NYX. Again, you don't need to dupe it because it's already like super affordable, right? There's smells really nice. Oh, it smells like candy. Theirs feels a little thinner. Actually, I really like that. It feels really nice, very glossy, but not super oily. I love that color. It just adds like the perfect amount of pink. I think it's, I didn't even do a liner. Like I'm really happy with how that looks. I don't care for the rest of it, but we're good, right? <laughs> so the bangs look weird because they were plastered to the top of my head all afternoon. I think we need to have a video with just foundations where I'll try a foundation because we got lots of them here. Like we've got, I got one, two, three, four, five more foundations. And then we have like these, like these contour palettes. You know, like we've got, we got more complexion products. So I think we're gonna have to do a Timu video where I just try a bunch of the foundations. And then we'll do another Timu video where I use my foundation that, like it's a decent foundation, it works. I use my primer, you know, like I, but then we'll try all of these other, I products like I want to try those I want to give those a fair shot I want to try more of these pens we have all of these liquid liners or the liquid shadows we have all of those blush products that we've got to try 
you know, things like that. So this video got a little lengthy, so hopefully I can edit it down to like about an hour for you guys. But um, it's going to take me a few days to get that done. So hopefully I can get that done here pretty quick. But anyway, you guys, I you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being you. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Like, you rock. Like, if you're here at the end, like, if you're here, bravo. Way to go. Way to stick it through, guys. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!